Um, I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but I'm feeling kind of bored and sad. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Sat here, home all the time, not allowed to go outside? Quarantine club is cool and all, but gee heck guys, it sure does get lonesome. Wait, what is that? In the distance? Can you hear it? It's meme time, it's meme time! Gather all your friends, it's meme time! It's meme time, it's meme time! The only cure for sadness! Welcome back, you sweet baby meme dreamers! This episode of the Quarantine Club is called Into Session. Now, last week, a lot of stuff happened. A lot of crazy stuff. We don't have the time to read the minutes of it. If you want to figure out what happened, you're going to have to go back through the playlist and watch every single episode up until this point. Now, there's a year's worth of episodes, so you got a lot to catch up on. But if you're new here, watch them all. Okay, good. You watch them? All right. Quarantine Promise? Okay, cool. Now we can get on with the rest of them. Reach volumes beyond human hearing. Be quiet and calm. Jack. <laughs> Is it because I'm hitting the big red button? Come on, I have my quiet and calm moments. Just because a lot of the quiet and calm moments that I have revolve around horror games and horrible things happening to you does not mean that I don't have them, okay? I hope that you look under your bed tonight. And if your bed is on the floor like mine is, that won't help you. Sean saying his height is extremely average. The average male height is 170. Don't beat yourself down, buddy. You're a tall boy. 178. Oh yeah, baby. I'm an absolute giant. A god among men. The tallest man that has ever existed. Bell of height. <laughs> That's five foot eight for the Americans. You know what, guys? It doesn't matter how tall you actually are. What matters is how tall you are in your heart. And in my heart, I'm 700 feet tall. Nobody. The spider crawling across my room at 3 a.m. Look, I'm not going to put on the headphones for this one. I know what this is. I know what this clip is. I'm just going to stick them near my head and I'll still be able to hear it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I hate this clip. It's so weird. What was I doing? I can't even remember what clip this comes from. I can't remember anything. Half the time, I can't even remember my own name. Who are you? Don't you hate that, though, when you're in your room at nighttime and you're about to go to sleep and then you just see a spider like scurry off somewhere and then you've no idea where it goes and then you're terrified to go to sleep because you know that motherfucker's going in your mouth me watching a jacksepticeye video without my glasses me watching a jacksepticeye video with my glasses <laughs> maybe my camera just needs glasses here here buddy you want these put them on oh no these are not your prescription at all you know what, fuckers? <laughs> Fine, I'll go back to autofocus for the rest of this video. Are you willing to see the, the uh, 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 pulse pulse all over again? There, it's on autofocus again. Oh my God, is it fixed? No. Are we able to touch it again? Whoa, guys, I'm in focus all the time. This is really weird, I don't like it. <laughs> Look how clear I am! Wow! Oh, what a beautiful morning! Me and the boys at 2 a.m. looking for bells! <laughs> this is such a weird meme! Is the whole point of this meme to actually show how ridiculous memes are? Also, you and the boys better be up at 2 a.m. looking for the top of the morning Jacksepticeye coffee beans. Alright? It's coming out soon! Get ready for it. I'm gonna have a full announcement very soon and then you can get your own Top of the morning beans. It's not a joke. Tom Nook would be proud. Yeah, you could just be up at 2am looking for bells in Animal Crossing. That has happened many times. And then the 3am music hits and you're sitting there wondering what you're doing with your life. Yeah, I should probably go to bed. When your friend Rich says something funny. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha, Rich! <laughs> That's great. Ah, oh, that Rich. What a jokester. Do you think there's anybody out there named Poor? <laughs> somebody's somebody's parents were like, let's name our child Poor. That's short for poorly. So if your friend Poor says something, ha ha, 
math poor. Other YouTubers demonetized. Sean, he thick as fuck. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he thick as fuck. God, I'm so clear now. This is really weird. I look like a tiny person back here now. I could just do meme time from back here. I can't reach my mouse though. Wait, hold on. There we go. <laughs> Should I just do the rest of the episode from back here? You ask, you shall receive. Can somebody please merge this together? Oh God! What is that? That is so gross! I'm so glad I'm really far away from that. I could barely see it. The goggles, they do nothing. Why would you do this? I, I meant merge the voice together. Not merge me with Miles. This is so uncomfortable. Oh, I want to get my belt to shake it away, but it's... I'd, I'd have to get closer to do that. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm so close to it now. No! Get it off the screen! Love it or hate it, I'm spitting straight facts. No one, me and my best friend trying to be quiet during the test. <laughs> is this the ASMR video? Oh god, it's so relatable. That was me serving mass as an altar boy with my friends. And the worst ones were during funerals, where... It's that thing where you're... It's supposed to be very serious and very somber, but your brain just wants to do the one thing that it shouldn't. It's like everybody else sad, quiet, somber, crying. My brain. Ha <laughs> ha! Why my brain be do that though? Also, why does my hair look like fucking Jimmy Neutron right now? So it's it's in a phase. It's it's going back. It's getting there. Don't you dare make fun of my hair though. If you make fun of my hair. No bells for you. Ever. Sean drifts away from camera. Also, Sean. <laughs> no! We're not we're not doing that anymore. Look, it works perfectly, baby! This is the greatest arc of the Jack the Guy anime. It works! It just works! Whee! I'm in focus! Whee! I'm in focus! Whee! I'm in focus! I'm kind of worried that it's gonna start pulsing again though. Nah, we good. We good. This is this is a great day for the lads. <laughs> I have found your location. Bitch Lake. <laughs> bitch Lake is actually just made up of my tears. Sorry, I made a I made a lake out of my little bitch tears. Oh. Somebody cranky today? Oh, somebody want to go swim in a little bitch lake? <laughs> oh, somebody can't swim? Oh, somebody drowning in a little bitch lake? Bitch lake is made up of all the tears of all the haters out there. What up? Fight me. I drew a picture of Sean's dad. It took over five hours and 50,000 dots? What? Holy crap. That's so cool. I love it! What's the name of that... The dot art? What's it called? You know the dot art? Where they just put a lot of dots everywhere? The dot art? What's it called? Pointillism! That's what it's called, gamers. Sick pointillism, bruh! At this point, I'm not looking at the picture. Okay. Keep it in your pants, Reddit. It's not a fucking dating site. Do you think any members of the quarantine club have met up and had a baby? Whoa. Do you think there's been any Jacksepticeye babies? Because of people meeting each other in the community? Whoa. Am I a dad? No one comes between him and Evelyn. Ryan Reynolds, Evelyn. No one comes between me and Evelyn. <laughs> that is so weird and creepy looking. <laughs> Did somebody redraw this? I actually have no idea what this meme is from. And yes. As much as I absolutely adore and love Ryan Reynolds and would love to hang out with him consistently, no one gets between me and my McQueen. She's McQueen. I'm sorry, Sean. Had to do it. <laughs> what is happening? Sean in two months, no hair salon open and remain closed indefinitely. <laughs> Damn, I wish my hair could get like that. My hair does not grow like that. My hair does not swoosh. It does not silk, it does not flow. It just turns into like a rat's nest and just goes like, Hit. 
And that's it. That's why I tie it back in the bun. He looks like Evelyn? No, I don't. I don't at all look like her. Are you saying anybody with dark hair is Evelyn? <laughs> it's like when people used to say, I grew my beard out once and everyone's like, Oh my god, he looks like PewDiePie! We look nothing alike. Get your fucking eyes checked. Do you want the glasses? Going to sleep, Jack uploads again. <laughs> you know the video will be there in the morning, right? Aha! Psych! Gotcha! Good job! That was a test for Quarantine Club. Everybody in Quarantine Club watches the video as soon as it comes out. You don't wait around! Oh, wait till morning? Stinky! You watch the video as soon as it comes out, and all these people being like, Oh, this person and this person uploaded at the exact same time. Better be watching my one first. If you're not... A spell is more than just a musical instrument and something to call attention to all the states of being. It can also beat y'all's ass. Where girls cried, where boys cried, where men cried. End of episode bell. <laughs> I purposefully didn't put this one in at the end of the episode, just in case you thought it was end of episode bell. Oh no, baby. We got plenty more memes to come. This is a middle of episode bell. I have no idea if this is the middle of the episode or not. But no, no cry. Meme time is a fun time. It's supposed to uplift you. It's supposed to make you smile and feel happy and get way of the- get rid of the no-nos. I hope you're happy at the end of every episode. My plans 2020. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I've seen this meme go around a lot. Damn! Might I say your plans be looking hella fine. It may- Maybe even a little thick? Maybe even a little like a snack? That makeup in the second picture looks really convincing. That was when we did, um, Scare PewDiePie. We were- we did it for, like, the intro of the show, and it was supposed to be, like, the two of us were fighting, so we both got beaten up. And we did a bunch of choreography and rehearsed all day, and, like, hit each other's arms and everything, and I had giant welts and bruises all over me at the end of the day, and I was like, you know what, it'll be worth it. Never came out. <laughs> Can you guys believe PewDiePie punched me, and this is what happened? He's such a mean person. Can't believe you would punch me like that. I'm so nice. Oh no, the tambourine. <laughs> oh, little Belle is there to console you though. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You'd never hurt anybody. I'd never break you. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, Felix and I did the, the bottle flip thing again on his channel uh, from quarantine and... Okay, it's spoiled already, but he punched a hole in his tambourine. It was very, very sad. Pewds tambourine breaks. Me a Jacksepticeye fan. We won, Mr. Stark. <laughs> yeah, it was already over at that point. As soon as he broke it, his focus went. And I just jumped in for the killing. Three years in a row, the bottle flip champion. What can I say? I'm a hero. I'm also incredibly humble. <laughs> and modest. <laughs> Pour one out, everybody. Pour out a little dingling. Take a few sips for tambourine. YouTube, no swearing or get demonetized. Jacksepticeye. This is great! Yeah! <laughs> what is this from? What anime is this? <laughs> That's Susan right there trying to write new terms of service to get to get me. He ain't gonna get me. If you demonetize an Irishman for swearing, it's basically racism. And just because that's a lie, doesn't mean it's not true. I don't attempt fate with this though. <laughs> I've been- I've had a great streak of non-demonetized videos for very, very long. I don't want the- it to catch up with me, ever. Because it will literally kill my channel. I have so much swearing in my videos. There was a time when the algorithm changed to really start clamping down on that stuff. And all of my suggestions, all of my, like, recommendations and everything, anytime anybody got recommended my videos, just collapsed. And all the views just went BOOM! And I was like, OH NO! They caught me! What are we gonna do?! Bella Sensor! Oh, yes. The ritual is almost complete. The coffee 
Lord is about to rise. There is a few days before the coffee apocalypse happens. But it's a good kind of apocalypse. A great kind of apocalypse. You and the boys won't have to be up at 2 a.m. looking for beans anymore because I will deliver the beans straight to your door. The dirty beans. The dirty earth juice can be had forever. Coming soon to a mouth hole near you. <laughs> Thou hast suppened thy beans! Fine, okay. When I release my coffee company, I'll release a pentagram. I'll release a pen full of my own blood that you can buy yourselves and draw your own pentagrams in my blood. If that's what you guys want, I'll do it. I'm not laughing. You think this is a joke? This is a very serious matter right now. Just subscribe. <laughs> this artwork is so cute. I told you guys I would do it. I said that I was going to make a video with only me saying subscribe. And I'm a man of my word, okay? Just because I said I'd go back to Minecraft and I haven't yet. Shut up. But that was a very interesting video. I, it, it didn't really get more people to subscribe to the channel. It didn't, everyone's probably looking at it going like, he's a genius. He must've got a million subscribers. No, not really. <laughs> also, you better do it. You better subscribe. Do it right now. If that button down there is red, you know you, you're dead. <laughs> Hit the bell as well, because now I have a bell and it's thematic. <laughs> Just an old truth bomb Jack dropped on us a while back that I think people should see every so often. If you take a day away from social media, you're going to miss fucking nothing. Except the guy 2019. <laughs> it's true. If you take some time away from social media, you miss fucking nothing. If you even take a day away from YouTube, you miss nothing. The videos are still there. Keep the in here good first. And then do whatever the hell you want afterwards. If you find yourself on social media and you're getting a little angry at it or a little annoyed with it, or you find yourself just tweeting like every hour, just take a break. Step away from it. It's the best thing you can do for your brain. Social media will literally ruin the world. Don't get me wrong. I have fun with social media. I dick around in it a lot and I just post jokes and memes all the time. But if everyone did that, it would be great. But no, people get real mad on social media all the time. And that's the part that's real shit. 24 million subscribers? No. 20 more, 24 million friends. Zero upvotes? No. Zero friends. <laughs> oh, you got 11 and a half thousand upvotes for this. You have a ton of friends now. You love to see it. You love to see Quarantine Club coming through. What is the most upvoted and the highest upvoted thing on the channel or on the subreddit? Wow! It's the Lego animation. That's so cool at 14k. So you're almost up there. You're almost the highest rated one. Uh. Lots of friends. This is really nice. Thank you guys for, again, I said it in the video, but just a little, a little shout out again for all of you who are here and roll with this kind of stuff. Cause I remember when I started uploading the meme time videos, I didn't really know what I was doing with them. I didn't even really know why. Um, and there was a lot of, everybody else was doing meme stuff and Felix was doing like meme review. And it was obviously like a byproduct of those, but it's kind of taken on its own life now, and it's really, really fun to do, and it's great to interact with the community so heavily all the time. And there's 286,000 people on the subreddit right now, 1,500 of which are online right now, browsing this as I record it. That could be you! And it's really cool. I, I felt very connected to the community over the last few weeks. And I don't know if it's because we're all in quarantine and we're all at home or... I've also just made a, an extra effort to be more involved and to make the videos a little more interactive and I feel like it's paying off and it's it's really fun. All right, sappy moment over. Back to the memes, back to Bitch Lake. There are two types of people during quarantine. <laughs> I'm rocking the left right now, but I am also the right. I am both of these people. I reckon a lot of you are both of these people. Probably this one a lot more. I look like this. Most of the day and then recording happens and I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> this is the ideal male body. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> Whoa! Ding ding ding, Bella fan art. That is so cool. That art style is awesome. I love how you drew the bell and the glasses. It's so dope. You get a bell of appreciation. How does that feel? I hope it feels good. And last, 
but by no means least. I said last time that we were going to have a banner contest of sorts. It wasn't really a contest. I just said that if people made a banner, we would make it the new banner of the subreddit. A bunch of people drew stuff, but everybody, we have a winner. Drum roll, please. The winner of what banner goes on the top of the Quarantine Club Jacksepticeye subreddit is by Kitsicles. Look how awesome that is. That is so goddamn cool. I absolutely love it. There are so many memes going on in here. Uh, we have Toss Boy, we have Thick, we have Anti, BB, we have Gizmo, oh, you to snack. We have the Bell, we have Siren Head is my dad, we have Nice Cock. We have the Goose. It's amazing. It encapsulates everything. It's really well drawn and I absolutely love it. So Kitsicles, thank you so much. You even got my top of the morning coffee mug in there. It's not even out yet. It'll be out in th like three days. Get ready. But I love it so much. So mods, can you make this the new banner for the subreddit? Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. But guys, you know what that means? Yeah, you, you caught on by now. The credits are rolling. And you guessed it. End of episode bell. You know what? It is sad. I wish I could just sit here and look at memes all day, every day. <sighs> maybe, maybe we'll have a meme week sometime. I don't think there'd be enough memes for that. But I just want to look at them all the time. They're so delightful. I love recording these videos. But go forth, my children! People of the Quarantine Club! And be safe out there! And spread the memes and spread the joy and spread the laughter. If you want to be part of the subreddit, go follow it. It's r slash Jacksepticeye. It's up there. 280k members. We're closing in on 300k. Can we do it? But another week has gone by and another set of memes have flown by our faces. I can't wait to see what comes in the next ones. But until then, my sweet babies! I say farewell, in focus! <laughs>